Check. Check. Once again, our panel, once again, ladies and gentlemen, will only uh, field sincere, serious questions today. So serious questions because, uh, you know, we don't want any silly things like what was Elvis' favorite color, you know, nothing like that. But we'll, get, we'll let you ask anything you want. We'll try to answer what we possibly can. Most of all, we appreciate you all coming out in such a fine attendance, and it proves that the king still lives, so thanks to you. I'll say one thing. Folks. Sure, go ahead. No, nope. is there nothing? Okay. Uh, no, seriously, I want to take just one moment to thank all of you for coming out here this afternoon. Uh, this is for a good cause. All the money taken at the door is turned over to John Robinson, and, and Mr. Robinson turns it over to Marion for the Make a Wish Foundation to help. Whatever charity she supports. Whatever charity that she decides to help people with. So it's for a good cause. Everybody up here, we donate our time to come and talk to you people. And if we, want, we want to share our memories of Elvis with you. We want to tell you probably some funny stories and answer any questions you might have. And if we can make just one of you leave here this afternoon happy and with a smile on your face, and that's what we're here for. So thank you for coming. All right. About time, mister. Right over here. What do they say? He's fashionably late. And he lives closer to this club than any of us. I live 20 miles from here. Richard lives 30 miles. He lives about five blocks. And he's 10 minutes late. Twinkle toes. That's what Elvis called him, twinkle toes. Is that what's in the back of your bracelet? It was twinkle toes, huh? All right. What happened to the microphone? I lost some sound. All right, is the sound back? Can you hear us okay? Everybody here is all right? All right. 
By way of introduction, ladies and gentlemen, real quick introduction, as you probably know everybody on the stage, but the young man on my left, your right, uh, he was the guy who spoke just a moment ago. He was with Elvis for over 10, 15 years. He was Elvis's movie stand in in 23. 23 of Elvis's 33 motion pictures. He was Elvis's, one of Elvis's bodyguards. Um, he was uh, took care of Elvis's wardrobe when Elvis was back on the road in 1969. Mr. Richard Davis. Thank you. And I'm glad you said young man. Uh, the young lady who has her leg propped up because she's got a bag lead today, of course, was Elvis's nurse and confidant and friend and dearly beloved Miss Marion Cox. She's got a big banquet tomorrow night. Miss Mason, she's got a banquet tomorrow night at the, Pe at the Peabody in the Skyway. Yes, and we are sold out. Yes, sir, sold out. Sold out. Elvis is always sold out. We're, we're sold out and, and eight over sold out. You know, Elvis never played to an empty seat, Miss That's, right. Okay. That's right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this guy's a dear friend. We worked together on the road in the early days. Uh, he was Elvis's original drummer, created the drum lick, Jailhouse Rock, Hound Dog, Money Honey, all those, that's all right, Mama, all those great songs. And uh, he always comes and appears at the Memphis Mafia Union, one of the nicest guys that I've ever met, ladies and gentlemen, a lifetime friend, Mr. D.J. Fontana. some of your questions, and if we can, we'll tell you a lot. <laughs> All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a very historic guitar player. He was Elvis's first guitar player. And he was the guy, I asked him, I've been working with this guy the past couple of days, and I asked him backstage the other and I said, Scotty, what would have happened if that day on a Sunday afternoon, I think it was July 4th or that, uh, that close to that day, that Elvis came to your house to audition, so to speak, Sam sent him over there, and if you had said, told Sam, Sam, I don't know, maybe we ought to pass on this young guy, there never would have been an Elvis. So this could be the guy who really discovered Elvis, especially his original guitar player, Scotty Moore. Thank you, George. Uh, 